Fernando Amorosolo y Cueto was quite simply the last crowned head of the Philippine landscape. That he reigned so long and so supremely was perhaps because he stood on the shoulders of three legendary painters Fabian de la Rosa y Cueto, Simon Flores y de la Rosa, Jorge Pineda, who would owe a huge debt of gratitude to Felix Resurrección y Padilla and Juan Luna y Novicio, who shaped the way we still see our fields and mountains, waters, and skies. It would be, however, Fernando Amorsolo who would make his own paintings of a sun-dappled paradise famous across the country. At age 16, Amorsolo would begin that inexorable climb that would make him the most famous artist of his time. He would win the first of his accolades, a contest organized by the influential organization called the Asociación Internacional de Artistas de Manila for an exposition for the fine arts in 1908. The following year, he would enter the School of Fine Arts of the University of the Philippines, where his uncle was also a professor. Amorsolo would be among the first six graduates to complete the then five-year course. In 1919, Zabel de Ayala would bankroll his education in Spain in the very same academy, the Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando, where all of the Filipino greats had gone, from Luna to Resurrección Hidalgo to Zaragoza. Amorsolo's test results were so excellent that he was invited to join the academy, not as a student, but as an instructor. Amorsolo discovered the infinite possibilities of Philippine light, the rose-colored streaks of its sunrises and sunsets, the reflections of dappled rice fields, the shade of a gnarled mango tree, even the dancing flames of a campfire. Amorsolo would return to Manila in 1920. He would reprise Fabian de la Rosa's work, calling it Rice Planting, in 1921. In 1938, he would succeed his uncle Fabian de la Rosa as head of the School of Fine Arts of the University of the Philippines. For the forthcoming Leon Gallery Asian Cultural Council Auction 2019, three magnificent canvases reign supreme. The Tabacalera Amorsolo that once belonged to the company whose vast plantation would eventually become the Hacienda Luisita, another stunning version of Under the Mango Tree offering the bounty of summer, and finally, the classically beautiful Woman with a Bangat.